The following is a paid advertisement for the Turbo Cooker Plus, brought to you by GT Merchandising and Licensing Corporation. The Turbo Cooker and Chef Randall's steam frying system are trademarks. Over one million people are finally enjoying their favorite foods with less oil, with more flavor, and with less preparation time, thanks to the incredible Turbo Cooker. This is the product that lets you fry, bake, and roast with little or no oil that can cook an entire meal using frozen meats and vegetables without defrosting that can cook dry pasta in just one step that you can use to cook an entire meal for four or just one and that replaces an entire set of cookware but it's gotten even better there's a new turbo cooker that gives you even more ease and convenience the turbo cooker plus and now there's a way you can receive the new Stack Rack, which lets you cook over 30% more food for free. Plus, you can get the new Turbo Timer, which tells you when your food is ready, also for free. Imagine peppered pork chops with vegetables in 15 minutes, Thai chicken with rice in 10 minutes, and a moist, tender Sunday roast for four in just under an hour. This is all possible because of Chef Randall's steam frying system technology, exclusive to the Turbo Cooker. We can put our potatoes, our vegetables, our meat, all in one pan. It was surprisingly easy. I love not having to wash a bunch of pots and pans at the end of a meal. It's helped me to save time. With the Turbo Cooker, I can actually put the frozen foods in the pan and still less than an hour, my meal is completely cooked. My wife actually found a winner with the Turbo Cooker. Now you can enjoy even more delicious foods and get new kitchen accessories for free. Presenting the cooking sensation that continues to steam fry the nation, the new Turbo Cooker Plus. Let's see how it can revolutionize your kitchen. Question, what do you get when you combine a conventional oven with this expensive high-tech steam oven? What do you get? You get the phenomenon known as the turbo cooker. Over one million people have discovered the amazing turbo cooker, and I'm one of them. We're now cooking quicker, healthier meals without losing any of the flavor that we love. It doesn't get any better than that, or does it? I'm now told that the turbo cooker is now more advanced than ever before. It's more convenient and more versatile. And here to show us is the lady responsible for America's love affair with turbo cooked food, <laughs> Kathy Mitchell. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Joe. Wow, look at you. You look fantastic. I've lost some pounds. 23, in <laughs> fact, wow. thanks to the turbo, the cooker. turbo cooker. The recipes in the turbo cooker are so great. I love them. Well, I have lots of brand new recipes. Take a look at what great. we've got here. Great steamed vegetables. <sighs> and all American steak and potatoes okay. in 10 minutes. Amazing. Thanks to the new Turbo Cooker Plus. Plus, what's the plus in this Turbo Cooker? Well, probably the best way to explain it to you is to show you, come on over here. The first plus uh -huh. is this new stack rack. Huh. Now the peas won't fall through. Oh, for small items, exactly corn, right. beans. All the popular vegetables, this is perfect. Now the second plus mm -hmm. is that we redesigned the original rack, so now it stacks on top of the new rack. Oh. And they actually lock together. So not only have you doubled your rack space, oh. it makes it very easy to handle. Now take a look at what we've got here. I've had these uh, sweet potatoes cooking in here for uh -huh. about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to just add some of this great pork tenderloin. That's the kind of meat that I ate to lose the weight. It's very lean. And delicious cooked in the turbo cooker. I'm just going to add my cooking medium, which has always been water. There's no yes. oil in any of this food. So we're just going to add a little bit of water. And I'm going to add just a little bit of brown sugar to kind of glaze those sweet potatoes because they are so good cooked this way. And, you know, adding this brown sugar like this, you won't need to add mm -hmm. any butter when you eat them. They're wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you think about it. We're grilling that pork tenderloin. We're steaming those green beans. We're baking <laughs> those apples all at the same time in one pan and that's going to be ready to eat in just 10 minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this that you just That's pushed? another plus. You know, all of the Turbo Cooker recipes use timing for cooking. So we have built in a timer right onto the Turbo Cooker because when you turbo time it, you don't have to mind it. I love it. Okay, we'll take a look at this. This is an orange pecan coffee cake. Now, is this going to be low fat too? Yes, it is because <sighs> what it is is two cups of reduced fat biscuit okay. and one cup of diet orange soda. Mm. And now I'm going to make a hot fruit sauce to go with it. So all you have to do is add the rest of that soda to mm -hmm. the turbo cooker. I'm going to add a can of mandarin oranges. 
and a can of peaches, <laughs> and a little bit of brown sugar. And now, if you can grab that coffee cake and just sure. pop it in here, no right problem. on the top. We're going to set that on high heat and cover it. And we're going to cook that with the valve open. The recipe cards, which I love, tell you when to open and close the valves, too. Always. Right? Oh. Now, we're just going to give that 15 minutes. And remember, when you turbo time it, you don't have to mind it. But you might have better things to do than hang what? around the kitchen waiting for that timer to go off. So take that with you. You've got to be kidding me. Isn't that great? All this right, is now great. Come on over here because I want to show you a great <laughs> pasta dish. You know, we're all busy people and we need to a lot of times cook with frozen food. So I've got some frozen meatballs. I do this all the time. That's, those are frozen <laughs> for sure. Those are frozen. And that dry pasta. People love being able to cook this way without pre-cooking the sauce. Right. We're going to add some spaghetti sauce. Any brand you like, yeah. and a little <laughs> bit of water. Okay. And that's going to cook in the bottom while we steam our frozen peas on the stack rack. That's great. And that, what's this? No, you garlic oh. bread. Oh yeah. And that's going to place <laughs> right on top. Uh huh. So now we're going to cook that pasta and meatballs, steam those frozen peas, and bake our garlic bread. You're breaking all the rules. Well, think how many pans this would take the ordinary huh. way. We'd have been one pan for the pasta, uh -huh. one pan for the meatballs and sauce, one pan for the peas, and you'd have to be heating up the oven for that garlic right? bread. I mean, we're going to yeah. cook it all in the turbo cooker in just. 12 minutes. That's how long it takes to heat up the oven to do the garlic bread exactly normally. right, and boil the water. Right. Now come on over here because I want to show you a new twist on fried chicken. Ooh. I've taken chicken breast and mm -hmm. I've pounded it kind of flat and dredged it in flour. Okay. And now I'm going to dip it in a mixture. This is egg and mustard that I've mixed together. And then I'm going to roll it in crushed pretzel crumbs. What? What that does is it gives it a wonderful crunchy fried texture without any added fats or oils. Mm. Just want to press those right on there and then into the pan. Look That's at right. that. Fat free, right? Exactly That's right. Great idea. Now, no fats or oils. I'm just going to add a quarter of a cup of water. And what I like to do here is kind of pour it into the open spaces and around the edges so you don't rinse the pretzels off your chicken. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's what we call Bavarian chicken, the, the pretzels oh. and the mustard together. Now we're going to add our carrots. On the stack rack. Exactly. And we're going to lock this rack on because what mm -hmm. I did earlier was I took one of those packaged noodle mixes yes. and I cooked it in the base of the turbo cooker and I transferred it to my serving dish. So this is going <laughs> to keep warm while the carrots steam and that chicken steam fries in just nine minutes. You've got enough food here for the whole family, right? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Come over here because what I've got here is really what I call a turbo cooker shortcut. What I've done is I've taken one of those pre-baked pizza shells, okay. little sauce, little turkey pepperoni, keep <laughs> it low fat. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of light cheese okay. and some veggies on top, some Very mushroom good. slices, whatever you like. Now this is a shortcut way of cooking this in the turbo cooker. I think you're going to love this. Let me show you. What we're going to do is we're going to slide this pizza right into the turbo cooker. Okay. And I'm going to add just two tablespoons of water. That water is going to come to a boil okay. and give me just enough heat and steam to warm the toppings and melt that cheese. Then as the pan dries, I'm going to be cooking actually in a dry pan for about one minute. That'll crisp up the bottom of the crust. And I'm telling you, <laughs> this tastes just like it was cooked on a pizza stone in an oven, but in just four minutes. Four minutes. This is so unique, but I have to ask you now, has the technology of the turbo cooker changed at all? No, Joe, we still have the same great turbo cooker technology. What's changed is the stack rack system, yeah. which not only doubles the capacity of food on the racks, but it gives you the ability to lock them together so they're easy to move in and out of the turbo cooker and the smaller holes so your vegetables don't sure. fall through. Plus, don't forget the great timer. What was that? I'm, I'm beeping. beeping. <laughs> I'm beeping. Well, that means that your coffee cake is ready. Come on over. I love this. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, now we'll just snap uh -huh. that right back on the lid. Now, this and is the coffee cake. This is the orange, orange coffee cake. Oh, Take a look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Wait till you taste. All right, let's get it out of there here. And simple to make. 15 minutes, three ingredients. Can't be much simpler than that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely beautiful. All right, let me cut you a little piece here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look at that. Ooh. Wonderful. Right. I'm going to try some right now. Okay. Oh, yes. Here's oh, our yes. hot fruit sauce. Now, this is going to be mm -hmm. really hot, so okay. be careful. I'll be careful. All right. Now, take a look at this. This is spectacular. Now, there's our baked apples. Mm -hmm. Take a look underneath. There's our steamed green beans. Because of the stack and rack. look at the beautiful color. And underneath, you our pork tenderloin. Oh. Give me a fork. And sweet potatoes. Try one, because I want you to see how good they are without any added butter or anything. Well, look at that. I got a nice little corner right there. This is absolutely spectacular. This is great. All right, now here's our mm. spaghetti and meatballs. 